Am I starting to vlog? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of CPU Speed Motorcycles. As you can tell, we are on the MT-10. What am I doing today? I'm not doing anything. It's way too hot to be riding and going into the valley, which is where I usually go. We are setting uh, temperature records right now this weekend. We are in the middle of a heat wave. So in the valley, it's going to be 100 and it's going to be 100 in the teens. That's how I say it. Um, right now on the coast, it's like 11:30 and it's 90 degrees, which is pretty not so. Usually it's a lot cooler out here. So I didn't really check the weather, but supposedly today is hotter than yesterday, so we'll see. face mask. I can just feel how hot it is lifting up the face mask. I mean lifting up the wind, wind visor. But basically we are testing the new GoPro settings and another microphone, yet another microphone why water was kicked up on my helmet I don't know but there isn't any real specific thing to this ride I doubt I'm going to post it I doubt if the microphone's going to work I've just kind of become acceptant I've accepted the fact that up on a you know on a naked bike when you're not leaned over um distracted I was choking on the juice from my chewing gum one thing about the MT-10 that I have to devise is some kind of mechanism to carry stuff um, I was going to try it today and I think I will when I go back but I want to put the what is it the 30 liter dry pack on the back seat here and that can just be my, you know, my camera bag on the MT-10 as well. Just because I'm not going on some big overnight trip doesn't mean I can't use it. I mean, it costs a million dollars. Um, but I'm not going too far today. I'm just going to go up and over this mountain and then turn around because it is, I would say, right here. Um, it's 95, I would guess. Um, I did this same uh, test yesterday on the V-Strom and uh, we, we got 101 on its thermostat. So it has its own little, you know, thermostat in the, uh, what do you call it, uh, gauges, which is nice. I really like the gauges in the V-Strom. I never talk about that, do I? How great those uh, gauges are. Yeah, we're trying a new microphone. I, I, you know, yesterday was didn't work out. Um, the test was a fail, but I realized that it had nothing to do with the GoPro. It didn't have anything to do with the Zoom H1. It was a microphone, I think, was just not working well. And it's possibly because of the dead cat. I don't know. Some people stick their microphones partially into their cheek pads. There really isn't any room to do that. You know, especially on this RF-1200, where the fuck do you put the microphone where wind isn't getting at it? I do have my front face vent open. I mean, it's 100 degrees. And I do have the chin curtain on. So that should block some of the wind noise coming up. But uh, 
and I should probably just lean my if I lean my head down like this well I can't see anything um, I'm in the wrong gear but um, <laughs> So the new settings on the GoPro are working pretty well. So we'll have to see when we get back if this is even worthy of posting. And uh, so we're just going to go down here, find some shade, and then go back. It is hard to get off the bike once you start riding. But it's not even noon yet, and it's, it's in the 100s back here. So, 95 is pretty much my kind of my limit, you know. Within the 90s, I'm okay. I've kind of conditioned myself to ride in the 90s. People look at me with this, I mean, I got my leather jacket on, but it's a fucking breathable one. You see that pass up there? Yeah, sporting the base Hyundai, you're going to be passing people. Weird. But the heat is intense, man. So, the heat is something real. So we'll go up here somewhere and find a place to change our camera equipment. I'll be right there. It's fun to go riding, though. It's hard to go on the bike and then get right off, but I was thinking of going up the coast um, to uh, this beach that I go to. And, uh, and um, God, I've seen that guy. I forget what his name is, but I've seen that guy for like 20 years back here. He's on the same bike, and I just keep getting more and more bikes. And, you know, should just get a bumper sticker that says Depreciation Guy or something. That's, that's my new nickname, Depreciation Guy. The MT-10 is going like, what the fuck are we doing? You do know it's 110 degrees out here? Yes, I know, baby. Ooh, there, that would have been a good spot. Fuck. Um, yeah. Although over here, I mean, it's blazingly hot right now. Ooh. Oh, that's not enough room. just swap out the mic so this is the mic attached to the GoPro we'll just go right here oh man it's hot bikes overheating <laughs> a lot of traffic still a lot of traffic well it is the weekend but I don't think I'm gonna be doing any oh, fuck I hate watching the cars that I'm gonna be stuck behind coming up the hill <coughs> excuse me what the fuck this is the the worst motor vlog in the history of motor vlogging all right let's lamely get out of here for the car over car see the heat's getting to me already guys See, this is two, two cars I just told you about. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Yeah, you can let them go a little farther for me. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. All right. Back to, yeah. So we're testing the Zoom H1. We turn auto levels off. We turn limiter on. We do a, um, whatever it's called, at 160 megahertz to cut out those things. 
and it's 48, 38 megahertz at 16 bit. I think that's what the settings are. So, in these vey, oh, see, that's that's just heat stroke all over it right there. I'm Captain Depreciation, and that guy's Captain Heat Stroke. Or was that a girl? I couldn't tell. Let's see if I can get around these people without dying. It's hot, man. It's like usually when you speed up like that, it's cool air, but it's like hot air just hit me. I gotta get out of here. And the bike agrees. It's too hot, man. So this might go down. You know, of course, the year isn't over yet, but I think today will be the record setting day. Whatever day it is. I think it's September 6th. People in the West, in the West, don't care. I doubt they're, they're caring right now. But it's not an issue of, oh, just turn some air conditioning on. It's not, yeah, everybody turns their air conditioning and then, then we have these huge blackouts. So, um, that's not good. You know, we don't have any power at all. And then all my ice cream melts. Smashing the Mini Cooper. I didn't even check my camera. Well, it's recording, I know that. That's good. Well, I didn't really sync up the sound. You're supposed to honk when you have separate audio. There's anything really, any kind of sharp noise will do. Well, thanks for the dust, man. I just, you know. The heat and the dirt. Oh, such a great mixture in my face. <laughs> now, this is just not. I like it when it's warm, but this is ridiculous. So, there's definitely a 10 degree difference between the coast and inland. So. If it's 100 degrees on the coast, you know you've got a problem. So... But, uh... I might get some lunch. That might be a good idea. Way too close to the center line. That isn't setting a good example. So if you're making a right turn, you want to be in the left part of the lane. If you're making a left turn you want to be in the right part of the lane that way you're not leaning over and you're just leaning over your lane leaning over the road everything is proportional but if you're in the left part of the road leaning and going left you're going to be leaning into uncom leaning into uncommon traffic no i'm not going to pass these guys but wow, is it hot. So I had this big plan to get out here, like leave at eight in the morning and go up the coast and yeah. That's not happening. And this is a nice little jaunt. People must think I'm fucking insane. So anyway, this leather jacket that I have, it is in, um, what do you call it? Mesh? No, not mesh. It's got a bunch of holes in it. So it's made for hot weather. 
So people look at me strangely and go, oh my god, what the fuck? But that's, all my gear is really made for hot water. Hot water. Hot weather. I'd love to pass these people off. I'm so... I'm gonna pass them. I just wanna pass them. No, no opportunity. Ride safe, everybody. Be safe. That's my motto. I can't believe I forgot to sink it. He said, I'm giving up. It's too hot. Good idea. Going riding out here. I mean, I can see going out, you know, 7 in the morning on a bicycle. That's great, but it's almost noon. On the hottest day of the year, yeah, you want to stay indoors. And another thing about hydration is that you should drink water before the event, not during. It's better to hehydrate before. Even, uh, even uh, like an hour before, that's when you drink all your water. So, so that's why I drink. I drink heavily before I go on a ride like this. <laughs> no, I can't do my little whoopty woos. But it's just too hot. I'm not enjoying this at all. I don't want to slow down anymore. I just want to get back and get off this thing. I can even feel the heat of the engine. The bike's hot. I'm hot. Everything's hot. Got another, another dead carcass on the road. The person probably thinks I'm a nutball. Oh, now he pulls over. What? I shrugged my shoulders. Such an asshole on the road. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Ride safe, be safe. See you next time. <laughs>